Welcome in to another day of our daily devos in the Psalms. Pastor Rick here, and we are jumping into Psalm 141. Wedding week got me all crazy, um, trying to trying to get these videos done, and um, and sometimes not in my usual space. So well, I got different backgrounds going on. You're like, where is this guy? What is even going on here? So Psalm 141. Um, I'm gonna just. There's a lot you could pull out of this uh, chapter. I'm gonna focus primarily on one point um, and then we'll, so it'll be probably a brief, a more brief uh, devotional, but um, I know that it will be worthwhile. So verse one, Lord, I call on you, hurry to help me. Listen to my voice when I call on you. Come on. Yes, Lord, that's the cry of our heart, God. And we thank, I'm just so thankful for God that He's the kind of God that says, if you seek for me with all of your heart, you will find me. If you draw near unto me, I will draw near unto you. What great promises we have about God's love for us and his care to, to meet us right where we are. So Lord, I call on you, hurry to help me. Listen to my voice when I call on you. May my prayer be set before you as incense. The raising of my hands as the evening offering. And, and here is such a critical thing to know about the incense. It was offered in the morning and in the evening. And so I think it's a pretty good little indicator from the psalmist of uh, that David thinks, hey, you should probably be praying uh, out, crying out to the Lord morning and evening, beginning and end, the bookends of your day, just wrapped up in prayer and that's probably my biggest point for today is just thinking morning and evening, morning and evening, morning and evening for your prayers. Like just, man, start your day in God's presence, end your day in God's presence. And the raising of your hands as the evening offering to, to worship God, to praise God, lifting your hands, kind of that surrender or that, hey, dad, pick me up. I, it's been a long day and my feet are tired. Could you carry me, dad? You know, like that kind of thing. Um, if you've ever had little kids in your life and you know, you know what that's like when they just, when they raise their hands to you and they're like, pick me up and like, I need you. And, um, how, how as a parent, you're just like, yep, scoop them up, you know, scoop them up into your arms. Like God's like that. Like God loves us like that. He's there to care for us. He's such a good God. So Lord set up a guard for my mouth. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Um, drop an amen to the mouth thing. <laughs> if, if you are one that can relate, um, and I, don't worry, I'll be dropping an amen in the comment section for myself. Lord, set a guard for my mouth and keep me, keep watch at the door of my lips. Yes, Lord, like don't let me mess stuff up because I say stuff I shouldn't say, et cetera, et cetera. Do not let my heart turn to any evil thing or perform wicked acts with evildoers. Don't let me feast on their delicacies. Like don't, don't let me get sucked into the things that they're doing. Don't let me get enticed by the things that they are passionate about. Let me be focused on you. Let my appetites be pointed to you, Lord, and help me with it, please. Don't let my heart turn to these evil things. Let the righteous one strike me. It is an act of faithful love. Let him rebuke me. It is oil for my head. Let me not refuse it. And this, you know, the righteous one is always referring to God. But also just to think about your your brother, your sister in the Lord and, and being open to people's rebuke. Uh, it's like oil for your head. It's like an anointing for your head that you shouldn't refuse, like, because we're not perfect. Can I get an amen to that too? Like, uh, not perfect here. Like, that's me, I'm not perfect and I make mistakes. I sometimes, sometimes maybe even kind of sort of on purpose, you know, and that's not good, <laughs> but but God is faithful to, to confront us, to rebuke us, but also we need to see that kind of dynamic in the body of Christ as well. We need to be there for each other and we need to like lovingly confront one another when the, when the situations call for it. When their rulers will be thrown off the sides of a cliff, the people will listen to my words for they are pleasing. As when one plows and breaks up the soil, turning up rocks, so our bones have been scattered at the mouth of Sheol. But my eyes look to you, my Lord, I seek refuge in you. Do not let me die. Protect me from the trap they have set for me, 
and from the snares of evildoers, let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by safely. But my eyes look to you, Lord. I seek refuge in you. And so this is hearkening back to some, some concepts that we talked about a long time ago in the book of Psalms towards the beginning is this thing about drawing near to the Lord, seeking him, seeking refuge in him. Because you can find refuge in a lot of different things, but only God is a safe refuge. Only God is the one that you should uh, that you that you should anchor your heart to in that way. So with that, I just pray God blesses you today. Thank you for your patience, waiting for a little bit of a later devo today. But God bless you. Have a great evening, and I will catch you tomorrow. God bless you.